Hey, it's Crocker 36 continuing the review of uh, Ant <coughs> My Games uh, versus Arthur Bomber Harris uh, Championship 2022 for org. And we are now in the big allied turn in the, the bottom half of the of the uh, of the ending. Okay, what do we got? We got America buying uh, all pointy things to one carrier, two destroyers, two fighters. I think that's a great purchase. I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, Got to win these, win the uh, beat the navies before you can actually get the troops on the ground. And I believe he does have uh, one, two, three, four transports on the board right now. Okay, so where's he? What's he gonna do? He's moving the fighter from Guam to twenty-five six. All right, that's awesome. All right, transport ten goes out there for three transports out here, one on the west coast. Okay, so that's a powerful force that can take care lines out. Assume. Okay, and so there we go. Um, okay, the subs are gonna get out of town. Because we've got a lot of uh, snipers aiming at them. Uh, so the cruiser moves over to uh, next to New Zealand. And then we place units. One more fighter for the East Coast. And uh, the rest, uh, and destroyer too, I think. No? Yes. One more fighter and destroyer for the East Coast. It's a nice small navy. Um, anti-sub capability drop uh, and of course uh, can fly to Gibraltar so for the scramble alright fighter in west coast edit mode not sure what happens here uh, America collects 53 not at war and I believe everything else is at okay so now we have a full spread of the plane 3-4 three, 3 carriers 3 scrambling fighters so a nice size our, uh, navy. Uh, they he buys infantry this time, which I think is the right buy. Uh, so then uh, he is going to stand firm in Yunnan and attack Hijau. So it's good. Um, and again, uh, we have a one for one situation, which inflationary terms, I believe that uh, when you lose a Japanese soldier, it's, you're probably losing about four bucks. When you lose a, uh, a allied soldier, you're losing about three. Um, so inflationary terms. So what else are we doing? We're moving everything to Yunnan. I like that move. Um, and then this is a good one here. This Infantry will be able to snipe this guy if he walks into Shenzi. So, no more free money uh, for the Japanese. Obviously, you can go to Shuyu Yan, but uh, you can place a troop up there next turn. But this is great, uh, and it's I, I think the timing of this is excellent. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. The rest of the thing, the rest of the turn goes. There we go, sixteen. So twenty units right there. Okay, and now we're into the British turn. British build another airbase, a factory for Egypt. This goes to Transjordan, that goes to London. And three and two mech. And then uh, there is a declaration of war against the Japanese, and here's the combat moves. An attack on Scotland, an attack on Siam, that's called off... Uh, Thinks about it, thinks about it, can't sue, doesn't do that, does that. And he's going to move in and help defend against the uh, the infantry, the ground force, because there isn't as much air force as there usually is, so super duper. Uh, aircraft going in there too, That's, but uh, because of his purchases... India is not uh, without resources, and we have Persia with three units being activated. The transports go to pick up and go to popping into the med. Um, now that one is coming from that one's coming from ninety two. Okay, so it's all coming from ninety two. Neat that the tank gets to move up. 
transport from 92, and then the ones from the horn from last turn move into and threaten uh, Fortress Europe in 98. And ignore that last German fighter. Uh, I mean, uh, Italian fighter down in the horn. And going to place three fighters there. Three in Gibraltar. London is thin, but it's not really important. Uh, Brazil is activated because he doesn't have any. Uh, he has, his one transport is out of position. And a massive move into Transjordan uh, while the. Um, I think to guard against uh, Iraq being activated, I would assume. Uh, Beat him to the punch, and of course the navy will protect Egypt. Okay, and uh, notice a destroyer blocker there, uh, right there to block the bombardment. So even if he were to think about it with low luck, there's no way he wins that. He would his his um, two cruisers and his battleship w wouldn't be able to fire because, for one thing, he could scramble, and for another, he could um, he'll just. Uh, Use the destroyer to fight the battle, and then four ground units cannot defeat those six. And you can even take the bomber last. You're st with low luck, you're not going to make it past that. He decides not to put the transports in. And there goes the factory. And the airbase. And the infantry. Turn complete. Loses two to blockade, uh, and gains... He's up to $35, and he gets the bonus for owning everything, and he places, and uh, and then, uh, of course, the UK places their troops, too. So let me note here that uh, I have seen in the past people in here picking on British Somaliland, and that would take away the $5 from the British uh, in fact, I've seen people who took the Ethiopian troops and the Italian Somaliland troops and put them in British Somaliland and denied them five bucks. Pretty handy. Pretty powerful. Good good move, I think. Uh, $22 for the... Uh, we're at war right now, so the Kwang Tung bonus and the Malayan bonus come into effect or the Kwang Tung Malaya bonus comes into effect, so he gets five more dollars. 17 plus five is 22. And of course, he did gain that, uh, activated that for the Chinese. So, really cool stuff. Uh, we got a Yunnan, uh, the Yunnan uh, fortress right there. But uh, India is not neglected, which is quite, quite something. Quite Quite the accomplishment. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, what is going to happen now? The Italians build two more ships. I really respect this build. Uh, the can openers are out there. They are fine doing their thing. And uh, he is he, as powerful as this force is. He, by purchasing more navy, keeps the med a fight a front. So I really respect that. Um, and that he goes to war against the Russians and then does this cheesy thing. So I think uh, here is where we need a new Russian move. And the Russian move needs to be four infantry right here. Uh, this He's going to get, um, I think it's either 5 or $10 for uh, not being at war with Russia and trade with Russia. Um, and if he, if they uh, collect... 43, uh, five, five. So $5, you could deny the uh, Italians the can opening ability, or if they fought it, you could kill the can openers. Um, shucks. So then uh, if you put three here, I guess, maybe three, then you get a, a, a one of the uh, bombers or a fighter out here. And then he maybe he loses some uh, some tanks, so I think three a three build or a three placement here in East Poland might defeat this uh, very silly and I think uh, gamey sort of 
um, move. This uh, further evacuation from, uh, no, not further ev evacuation. He's just going to grab two and put them in Malta. Okay, and he takes it over, and then moving troops. Okay, he is actually going to grab two more troops, leaving uh, the uh, North Africa almost bare of Italians. And puts those in 97 and uh, collects $16, which is respectable. It's not tremendous, but it's respectable. Uh, Sanzac buys a fighter, another respectable buy, and then just uh, brings his transport down. Now, here's a little one. I, I don't know what to think of this. Um, he does move the battleship, the cruiser with the battleship. Just gets him right out of Dodge. Uh, he suspects maybe he'll be cut off. Um, I didn't see that as likely, but there are two transports within range. But uh, with low luck, I, I can't see them winning. I don't think so, at least. Not with, that, not with those numbers. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Losing the Shan State. I like staying in Malaya. I like making it a fight. I don't like the move-ins. Uh, drops the fighter there. Puts the fighter here. This is this has got to be um, a low luck calculation. Just making this tips it over the top and says, with four um, ground units, you get two two from here, and two from here. You cannot win. Uh, but those ground units would be coming in by the way with uh, ones. Uh, he would be able to bring the planes in, so perhaps that's a factor one, two, three, yep. He'd be able to bring the planes in, so I don't think that's where he's going, ultimately, but uh, anyways, there is reserves, what I call Operation Ricochet. Uh, I'm not, this must be also a calculation, that the fact that he left another one here must be that, uh, you know, it's not going to be a simple fight. If he just sent all of his airplanes, for instance. So I think this is so that if he wants to come after these this transport, he's going to have to bring Navy into this action. That's the what I'm guessing. Okay, and he makes 15 bucks, which is 20 bucks actually, which is really good money. Uh, and then the French, they do not attack into Tunisia, uh, Libya. I mean, he's leaving that for the uh, for the British. Smart. And uh, he places his uh, troop, his uh, destroyer there. But then, yeah. All right. So that is um, turn two, 12 minutes. And uh, what I note as good, admirable. This this is a great, it's still that five bucks away. Um, throwing away a $7 transport, but uh, it's, you're going to make the uh, British work for it. Um, um so then, uh, this is the move that I do question. Uh, I wonder. I know he wanted desperately wanted those um, that navy, and to rule the seas here. So he does. All right, that's crack thirty six, uh, and I'm going to sign out.